Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So I'm still streaming out of Italy, very close uh, to uh, Naples. I'm gonna stay here till the weekend and then most likely gonna continue to travel towards the beach for next week's target somewhere uh, to enjoy the beach and let's see how is uh, the virus situation over there and um, yeah let's have a look also on the beach here in Italy but uh, first let's do a little uh, Bitcoin TA nothing much has changed in the last couple of days we are still waiting here for a breakout still nothing happened so um, maybe you uh, don't want to watch any more the video because anyway I'm gonna tell you the, exactly the same thing we are just waiting now for the next move but what we also gonna have a look at the end is also the Nasdaq because Nasdaq is comfort have the confirmation uh, with this uh, weekly close uh, that we have a bearish divergence there and I'm expecting a possible um, a play out to the downside uh, most likely also in the overall stock market situation and then also most likely Bitcoin uh, will fall as well if the stocks are falling next week or in the next couple of weeks but since we're coming very close here to an end uh, I'm still expecting to see some fireworks here coming up this weekend latest next week because we're really at the end of this uh, wedge and uh, here in the four hour you can see that currently uh, we are still trapped here below all the moving averages it looks like that we could have here an attempt here to test the 50 or 200 moving average at around 9200 and um, as you know on the weekend we always have uh, play time but even though it's weekend and we always see big moves during the weekend and then the retracement back to where we close the CMEs on Friday and uh, we close the CME so right now at $9,185. So I think most likely on Monday we will retrace towards this price level. Doesn't matter where we are going this weekend. And since uh, uh, we have uh, a very tiny um, range here between $9,220 and $9,050, I don't think it's very wise to play out a possible little CME gap. Uh, on Monday uh, and uh, yeah we have to see where we're gonna open up on Monday again and uh, if we go over to the daily time frame here you can see that we're still trapped here below the 20 daily moving average so far we didn't uh, manage to recover back up and uh, right now the 20 daily is right at the resistance of $9,233 stochastic is coming down to oversold condition RSI right below the 50 level so also here I'm still leaning more into bear mode so I'm still expecting here a possible breakout here to the downside so I'm prepared to trade it with a short here with a breakout trade on a bit yard with some tether probably 20 or 40x leverage I just want to put a small amount for the breakout trade and high leverage so that I can uh, play out um, the possible big move doesn't matter even though it could be even a fake out or at least a um, a bear trap here in case that we just go down to week uh, at the 200 daily moving average and then come straight back up and then break to the upside that this is also possible on Bitcoin everything is possible and very often when we see those patterns first we have a fake out and then the real breakout so first we maybe go down liquidate all the over leveraged longs and then immediately start to trade again towards where we um, had the previous resistance and then uh, possibly also break it again to the upside so something like this is what I'm expecting maybe even to the opposite side at first we're gonna see a breakout to the upside retest the 10,000 and then have the big crash so that's why it, it's gonna be very hard to trade I think uh, um, because of these possible fake outs that sometimes we are seeing in such important um, points like we are in right now and that's why I just gonna play the breakout trade over on BTR with some tether and uh, we'll have also a stop loss and a take profit probably at around 300% because it's over leveraged and uh, this 300% is reached very easily if we go down towards the 200 daily in case that we break out here to the downside and uh, only if we are retesting here the new resistance and we have the confirmation that the old 
resist uh, the old support is now new resistance then i think it's a good time also to scale in some bigger shorts like here over on bybit where you can trade with your coins like bitcoin ethereum eos or xrp this is where i'm then gonna scale in probably a bigger short to take as much gains as possible if we then come up here to retest it have the confirmation this is the new resistance and then write it down the same thing also if we have a breakout first to the upside if this becomes here the new support so this 9230 becomes the new support which was now the resistance then i think it's good to go uh, to open up longs and also buy some more uh, bitcoins if we have this confirmation so if you want to take uh, and trade the breakout then uh, make sure to use a stop loss because i still think we could see also a possible uh, fake out first so a big fake out towards 10k or towards uh, the 200 daily which currently is around eight thousand five hundred dollar and uh, here in the bollinger band if we have a look quickly uh, we have the four hour uh, here the top at 9220 this is where we topped out with this uh, last uh, leg up and we are retracing immediately back down here probably towards 9150 the next couple of hours even though the macd shifted to the upside but i don't have a um a tight watch right now here um at the lower time frames we should focus here in the bigger time frames like the daily and weekly here the daily is also still struggling to close above the middle line so we are technically still uh, trading in the bearish side macd also could have a bearish cross here and here the bottom is at nine thousand dollar so that's why i still think we are staying in this area here for the weekend and we're still waiting for a possible breakout which in my opinion if it's not happening this weekend latest next week and therefore now let's go over and open up the weekly time frame because here although we are still above the 20 weekly which is at $8,700 we have the RSI above the 50 and stochastic shifted to the downside so also here it's still looking bullish but I still think a little uh, uh, retracement back down to retest maybe one of these supports or this moving averages down here at around 8700 uh, possibly also to 8k down here is very likely and uh, if we're going to have a week or some consolidation area here at the 0.5 fib line or the 0.618 towards the 200 weekly this is what we're going to have to see if we're going to have a breakout here to the downside and we're going to stay for some days down here then i think it's very likely that we will see those levels down here but if we're just going to see a fake out to the downside or just a little breakout and then immediately after a couple of hours we retrace back up then i think the bulls are too strong and we most likely will not see those prices down here again but this is what we have to see once we're gonna see the breakout now in the next couple of uh, days here and uh, now let's open up the uh, nasdaq charts because uh, the other charts although like the s p 500 mini futures are not telling much right now here it actually looks still more bullish than bearish so i still think we have a lot of room left here to the uh, upside same like on bitcoin on the weekly we still are way not over uh, bought here in the rsi and uh, the problem is only here in the nasdaq because here we are creating uh, a higher high compared to the pre-crash in march and uh, as you can see we have now the confirmation that this is a bearish cross so currently we have on the rsi a lower high compared to uh, the pre-crash time here when we had this high here at uh, 100 uh, 17 the rsi came into overbought condition and right now we are trading at 130 almost and the rsi created a lower high so this is a bearish divergence and in my opinion this is going to play out pretty soon especially if you're starting here a major correction and uh, i think if nasdaq is starting uh, to correct here and we're seeing this possible play out of this bearish divergence most likely also the other uh, stocks and uh, also here the s p 500 and so on they will all follow in my opinion and then we have uh, probably the last opportunity to buy some cheap stocks and also some cheap cryptos that's why i would say maybe wait don't fomo in uh, yet wait for a possible 
bigger correction because it's still in the cards and uh, otherwise there is not much going on uh, and uh, yeah only I think like Dogecoin is uh, pumping here a bit as you can see here we had here another leg up here after coming down towards a 20 daily moving average and uh, yeah I don't think this is going to be sustainable but uh, I think uh, if we're going to have a new old seasons at some day maybe not yet maybe when Bitcoin is going to reach new all time highs most likely also then we're going to see overall a big altcoin run and um, maybe these coins that pumped here recently also like Cardano uh, V chain chain link uh, will be very interesting uh, to buy so that's why in case of a major dump watch out for some uh, coins that have a big potential to pump here of course on XRP Litecoin and Ethereum I'm also still bullish so also on those coins we should have here um, quite significant gains here for the next big uh, bull run but so far we didn't see much of a movement there same like as on uh, Bitcoin uh, it's quite flat there and we are still waiting for this possible breakout and make sure guys that you're ready to trade over on Bybit or Bityard. Those two exchanges are the ones that I recommend you. And if you still need an account, you find the sign up links down below here in the video description. With my links, you can get some sign up pony currently $90 on Bybit, $72 on Femex and on Bityard, depending how much is your trading volume up to $258 and also of course you support the channel if you use my links and I'm doing the live streams over on Twitch so if you have Twitch you find also the link to my channel over there down below here and everyone is uh, welcome to join our free discord trading chat the chat is completely for free and everyone is uh, welcome so thank you very much for watching my friends don't forget to leave a like subscribe to the channel and we see us all in the next one bye